FlexGrid is new in Foundation 6 and it's based off of Flexbox and it's something you can use instead of the regular float based grid that comes with a complete copy of Foundation. To get FlexGrid you'll need to download a custom build and under the grid section here you'll need to select FlexGrid. Then scroll to the bottom and click the download button. Once that's downloaded you can take your um, CSS and replace the CSS that we set up earlier in the older videos. I kept a second copy of uh, foundation with the float based grid because I want to look at a few examples and see the difference between uh, float and flex. So let's start with the basics which is very similar to using a float based grid. You need a div with the class of row and within that div you have your columns. I'm going to have two of them and on the first one set up small three and on the second one we'll go with small nine and why don't we put some text within it copy this paste it here also I'm gonna add some CSS uh, for the background We'll use the columns class and give it a background color of gray and text color of white. And then let's give our small dash three something different. How about red for a background color? We don't need this. We'll take a look at this in the browser. So as you can see, we pretty much have the same thing we would have in a float based grid. Our first column is taking up three and our second column is taking up nine. One of the key differences of the flex grid is that you don't need a particular screen class. If you were to remove these two, flex grid would know that there are only two columns, therefore each column is only going to take up uh, half of the row. I want to keep small three here. If we do that and come back, our second column has assumed that it needs to take up the rest of the row itself, while our first column uh, remains small three. In a regular float grid, this would cause some issues. you'd see that the second column breaks and that it requires our original small dash nine. So that's one of the key differences between uh, flex grid and float. 